Good morning. I want to teach you really quick one way to tell that it's completely over. The scripture teaches us what come out your mouth, come out your heart. When you're in a relationship with somebody, or your boyfriend, your husband, um, or your best friend, and they begin to, their language, their language towards you begins to shift. They begin to cuss you out. They begin to just say thing, hurtful things that they know hurt your feelings because they know you. They begin to bring up old conversations that you and the person have had. Anything like that, anything to hurt you, you need to pay attention to that because it is over. If someone who says they love you begin to verbally abuse you, they do not love you. The scripture says that what's in your mouth What's in your heart comes out your mouth. Not only does it come out your 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 mouth, it starts to come out your action. They begin to act funny. They 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 they, they they're just their continence is off. I mean, they don't care what they say. They don't care what they do. They just start acting like like a monkey. You can tell when things are gone to the left. But the problem is we don't want to accept it because you've become so invested in a relationship and a friendship. You try to hold on even though you see that the person is talking to you in any kind of way, their body language is off, you still try to hold on because you've invested. Now, what does that say about me and what does that say about you? It says that we need to sit down and we need to reevaluate our hearts and see why is it that we allow people and we can visibly see, ain't nothing, you ain't blind, you got no blinders on, you can see what's going on, you can see that that person don't want you no more. Basically, they're telling you they don't want you no more, they don't want to be your friend no more, they don't want to be in a relationship with you, they don't want to be married to you, but we try to hold on. God created women a little differently than men. We got a, a lot of stick to it we try to we'll try to make things work when they're not working so i just encourage you on the day to sit back and look and listen to see what people are saying sit back and really listen to what they are saying you know what you hear you hear what you hear and you see what you see you just have to have the strength to be able to to absorb it so that you can move on it's time for us to stop making ourselves be stuck when clearly god is giving you discernment and wisdom them enough to see what's going on around you. The person is talking to you any kind of way. The words say what's in your heart come out your mouth. I'm a stickler for it. If you said it, you meant it. I'm sorry. You can't say nothing to me and then try to come out. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Because that's what's in your heart. So what's in your heart is coming out of your mouth. And not only is it coming out your mouth, it's coming out in your in your body language, the way you act. You answering your phone. You ain't responding to my text. You slow to respond to anything that I'm saying or am I doing. So I just pray today. My, my my wish is that everybody have a prosperous relationship. But we know with the world that we're dealing in, that's not always true. So when you see signs that things are going to the left, maybe you can just jump jump on and, and get back on to the right. Or start preparing yourself for the breakdown. Have a nice day.